was thinking. Actually, I wasn't thinking. I was doing. There's a difference between thinking and doing. A lot of times these days I find out that people think and then they say, but they don't do. But they think that when they say, they do. So they say a lot and do nothing. I just thought I'd share that with you. But you know, <clears throat> I was thinking, I was done. let me show you something here. See if I got it in here, let me see. It's my ID card, what I say. This is some receipt or something. I collect my receipts, because I want to know what's going on in my life. If you collect your receipts, you know, you can trace what you've been doing, you know. Okay. Here's what I want to pull out. Oh, I had a little catastrophe in my pocket. You know what this is? This is a piece of kale mm -hmm. just growing out. The little part, I mean, it's, it's not big yet. Mm -hmm. It's just starting. See, I even got the little rooty thing here. Well, I didn't really get it. It sort of fell out. So I put it in my pocket, I think I'd say, wow. Now, what I was thinking or doing as I'm, well, I'm doing, meaning I'm making a little garden and the cat was coming up now. And I was thinking, like, uh, you can learn a lot from a garden. I think that's why a lot of old people do the gardening thing. Oh, yeah, you think it's for exercise. But I think they reflect and think, I saw a worm in my garden. Earthworms are good. They put like air in the soil and stuff like that. I don't know how it got there, because I'm sure it wasn't. I'm not sure it wasn't there before. All I know is I got earthworms in my garden, which should make my crop. I'm saying crop, but it's really just that's really good. Tastes good. I'm growing my own food. I could be self-sustaining after a while. I would let you have some, but you just have to go when it gets big, I'll let you have some. I was thinking as I was in my garden, there was a book I read a long, long time ago. It was like in the 70s, you know, way back. My boy type was in full swing and everything, you know. Uh, uh, it was by this uh, Polish writer, uh, uh, Jerzy Kaczynski, I think his name was. It was a book called Being There, Being There. And it was about this guy that was taken from a, 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 a child. And he grew up in this household with a really rich, eccentric guy. And what he did in the household, he tended to the garden. And all he did, he never went out at a big courtyard. So he sent him tended to the garden, and he watched television all the time. That's all he did. Television, garden. Television, garden. Now, when he got old, he was an old, old, old man. The, the old guy that had him, I would say, in prison, but he had television and gardening, so I guess, well, he was in prison. The guy had died. So they found this guy there. And they said, who? Who's this guy? Well, they didn't really say that somehow. Anyway, but the book after the book, I think they made it into a movie. I'm pretty sure they made it into a movie later in the, like, in the 70s. Or the, English comedian, this famous English comedian, glasses and whatever, it doesn't matter, it was made into a movie. But the thing was, the whole book was, because he, he saw the, how the garden acted all the time, and he saw the television, he knew everything about the world. So people, such, such certain circumstances happened, this was in Washington, D.C., certain circumstances happened, and he becomes Back then, I don't think they really had the word, but he becomes uh, a pundit, a pundit. I, I never knew what, it sounds pretty vulgar to me, but pundit, those guys that get on TV and they'd be talking stuff, and you, you, you check their credentials and you find out they did something like 50 years ago, but they're still on TV talking stuff. I don't know what it is. Anyway, he becomes a pundit. All he knows is TV and gardening, but that's all he needed to know. The ancient way of things, gardening, you know, kind of thing, and the modern way, TV. It ends up he runs for they make him run for political office, and he, I, I think it ends up he's like going to be almost be a senator or president or something like that. And all he knew was he couldn't even read or write. Think of 
about that, a politician doesn't even know how to read, have to know how to read, his staff has to know how to read and write and talk to him, but he just knew. Gardening and TV. It was a brilliant story. I like that story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like the movie when I think about it. It was a good movie. So I'm just saying, just waxing philosophical. So remember now, this was a writer, which means to me, if you're a writer, you're also an audio dramatist. I, I stretched the point, but you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. So this came from an audio dramatist. Jersey Kaczynski, novelist, audio dramatist, writer, but writer, audio dramatist. And he made this thing, big hit, and there's some logic to it. Think about it. In this day and age, you don't have to know nothing but some ancient way, gardening, and some modern way, devices. Whew. That's, I don't know if that's frightening or good or whatever. Anyway, this is one of those dispatches from the arts director and murders that would be BT from the Pattersons taking the trains into bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.